Hi, my name is Imani. I'm nine and I'm from Canada. I came to Ghana with my family and to explore and see if we would like to move here. Um, right now we're staying in an apartment but we're right but right now we're in the vacation really and we're in a resort and we're visiting here because my parents wanted to invest here to see if they would like to build something here okay so so far when you came here <clears throat> what what have you seen I saw a lot of animals. I saw chickens and horses. I also saw a lot of buildings that people were building and a lot of street vendors who sold food and drinks. Okay, so. Hey, what's good everybody? Thank you for checking me out. This is Echo Simpson. I know you definitely know where I am seeing this building. Yes, it's been over more than two or three months that I set foot in the Asebu Pan-African village. Why? Because I was a little bit busy with stuff and uh, I wanted to really give you beautiful updates because, you know, because I've been coming here a lot of times, you couldn't, you wouldn't see the differences of what is really happening. So today on the 12th of October 2022. It's a beautiful Wednesday here in Ghana. I decided to visit Asebu Pan African Village to show you exactly what is going on. But hey, I'm already loving what I'm seeing. First, this place wasn't up, but now I came here and it's going up. So, shout out to whoever is building this. Asebu Pan African Village is really becoming a relic. So let's move inside there and have a tour of the updates of this project. Isn't this beautiful? Little baby pineapple sprouting out. Yes, yeah, so I've been walking for a while now and I'm expecting to see um, the project that is, that is ongoing. And I find myself in this place that I go. I don't even know where I'm walking to. But I feel like the Asebu thing is too, it's too big. It's too big. Okay, I've seen an uncompleted building over there. Can you see? Yes, that one. So that means I'm close to human beings. <laughs> All right. Oh, there is a pond. So whoever owns that land would have work, some work to do. All right. So let's walk inside and then find out more from the project that is ongoing. So those of you who don't know where I am, I am in a community called Asebu. So Asebu is... Um, one of the communities in the central region of Ghana, where the chief, I think I'm lost, I have to go back. Yes, the boss. Apome. Okay, but I'm going to make a fire. Let me send a cook on. I'm back to getting bites from insects. When I started this, whoa, it's really hurt. When I started projecting a sable. An African village. I was like coming here almost all the time because I needed to show people. Oh, this thing really hurt. Yo, let me scratch it. I'll be back. Yeah, so welcome back. Um, this is just a tour of the Asebu Pan African village and uh, some of the project that is ongoing. Um, I seem to know about this place. I don't know if, if it's that one. Okay, so Ouch. Okay, so this is um, a polytank for someone who is building 
and I think they have um no, how do I know about this place? Let me see. Let me look at the name. Okay, I can't find it. No. No, we've never been here. No, it was this house. If you would like to give a message to any of, any of your mates in Canada, what are you going to tell them about Ghana? It's that it's very hot and there's a lot of summer and it's very nice and sometimes there's really nice breezes and there's a lot of nice clothing and pieces that you can buy here and there's a lot of nice people okay so i want you to say shout outs to your parents anybody anybody you want to okay. say shout outs to shout out to my parents and my sister and also my auntie and my favorite cousins who are all my yes so finally i have met another building which is ongoing and i think from where i'm heading to i presume this building belongs to Sherry. Miss Sherry or Cheryl, that's the first woman to have started her building. I think I made a video about her project. Do you remember? Yeah, I met her in town one time and then she was talking about she getting back on the on the project. I think she went on a break for a little bit. Yeah, I think this is the place. Oh, at first it was only, I think she's going to make it um two story or a story because i've seen stairs okay the stairs is just for the other side all right okay so yes there's a poly tank somewhere if i see it then this is the place all right so this is the place this is where the first woman who started wanted to build um started i think she traveled or something for a little while and she's back and she's fixing the roof yes she's fixing the roof and then she's going to have a small balcony over there. So this stairs is going to lead to the balcony. This kind of like looks cool. I don't know if I can go inside. Well, let me see. Okay, so she's doing her roof. A blue roof. Can you see? Yes. Let me just take a peep. And then go inside and check it out. I don't know if this is okay to walk on. But it looks like it is. Yep. It looks like it is okay to work on, but I'm scared. It looks like it is kind of fresh. Yeah, but it's not fresh. It's old if you see the wood and everything. So she is fixing her roof. That makes a lot of sense. Look at that. Yes. It's not easy to build in Ghana, to be very honest with you. It's not easy to build in Ghana. You know, where um, speaking to some of the diaspora brothers and sisters, they are like in the States, they don't build with, with cement blocks like this. You build with wood and metals and stuff. But here, every structure needs to be with blocks, cement blocks. Okay, I love the blue roofing. Yes, that looks pretty nice. All right, so let me show you. Let me go through. Okay, that Mr. Lane's house. Okay, so when you are here, let me show you. Let me show you. When you are here from the hill, you can see Mr. Lane's apartment. That is Mr. Lane's apartment. Woo! I'm going to have to shout and call him, Mr. Lane! <laughs> Today, I went to his place, and then we spoke at length, you know. Uh, he was talking about the project that he has in mind. Uh, he's furnished two rooms uh, that he want to give out to people who, who would want to come and then stay for like uh, a week or two just to get themselves familiarized with the whole Asebo Pan-African project. Okay, so I'll make a, um, a detailed video of the rooms and the facilities in there. So that when you're planning of coming to a stable to come and check on your property or anything concerning a stable, you could be staying right um, on the project so that you can just easily walk and then check on yours. I've seen a nice house over there. 
Yes. I think uh, that is the second, no, the third building. Because after, look at this. Who's building? Is this somebody's plot? Hey, look at this. Is this somebody's plot that he's planted? Um, what do you call it? Is it palm palm nut trees? Or uh, coconut trees? No, this is coconut trees. That one is palm nut tree. You see, they look alike. This one and that one. This would be coconut. Yeah. Oh, this looks nice. The person has cleared the plot. I think it was recently cleared. Maybe two weeks, three weeks. Because the weeds are coming up again. And you can see the heap of sand from the clearing. And the road looks nice too. And when it rains, it's crazy. Look, this place is like muddy. Hey, let's not forget. The light post is being worked on. Yes. I call Simpson. Connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. So hey, this is the main road. Okay, as you can see, yes, the cars passing by. So this is the road that branches to Asebu when you're coming from Abakrampa. So the community after Asebu, when you branch on your left, is called Abakrampa. So that is on your left this way. But those going this direction are going to Asebu community. An interesting thing that I saw is this particular property yes the person has built the wall around his or her property um, following the instructions or the measurement of the size of the wall i think this will be four feet and let's check what is inside there's basically nothing inside but the person is really has done well and is really going to protect his property and then there is a gate look there's a gate and it's locked let me try and open it. This lock, this is so nice. This is so nice and I love the designs on the gate as well. This person has really done well. And I'm gonna applaud whoever did this. We're still on a tour moving around a Cebu Pan-African village. I've seen a, a house over there and I think somebody is living inside there. Yes. I don't know whether it's the community or, um, wow, look at this. Look at this one. I think this is for Byron. Yes, this is Byron's land. The first man who came here to get the land, not the first person to stay here. The first person to get the property. Just look at the weather. It is 3.40 p.m. in Ghana, in Asebu. Today is a Wednesday, 12 of October, 2022. And look at the weather. So beautiful, it's about to get naughty. So I have to prepare and leave. But before that, let me check on uh, Steve Cockley, if he's around. He also has a beautiful house in a sable so i'm gonna check him out right now and see if okay so fortunately when i came steve cockley is not around but this is his structure uh he calls it the think tank yes so this is his structure i would have to come here and then meet him personally and, and have a have a conversation so look at this beautiful art that is painted okay so that's steve cockley's house uh, it's about to rain, so I have to run because I'm going to Cape Coast. Uh, so this is his place. 
Uh, I think I didn't meet him, so I'll come back and then we'll do a beautiful video together. I gotta run! Yes, I'm out of range, I'm out of range! Oh. Hey, so hey, thank you very much for checking on my videos. I'm gonna have to hit the road, and that is Lane's house. That is a private jet thing. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for checking us out. Put up a comment and let us know what you think about the development here in Asebo.